just thought I'd make a real quick video. I don't want to do too much editing, but haven't put out a video in a while, so just thought I'd mention kind of what I'm doing. We got this uh, iCharger 4010 Duo, and we're doing some capacity testing and just checking out the batteries and modules. So I got both channels running right now. We're discharging this guy at uh, 20 amps, charging this guy at 10 amps. Um, you know, it doesn't really matter. We can bump this guy up to whatever charge level we need, but I'm not too worried about it right now. And uh, we have a that little icon in the bottom left that says RE on it. That means regen. So what we're doing is when we discharge this battery, we're not discharging it as heat. We are basically going from this battery through the charger and back into the input. So through the breaker, through this little distribution network up here and back into the charger supply batteries. So these are the power supply for the batteries themselves. I kind of walk back, give you a little better idea of what this setup is like. So we have a wall, that's the supply, supplies the charger, power goes in and out. So basically we got power coming out of here and uh, because we're charging this one at 10 amps, uh, it's returning back to the input. So basically we should see no more than, uh, let's say, yeah, seven and a half amps going back into these batteries because this one is taking some of the charge as well. So just a kind of high level thing about what we're doing here. And this really speeds up the testing because we're not dumping it back out as heat into the room. And you do have to kind of keep some tabs on your levels here. Make sure that uh, yeah, you're not undercharging or overcharging your supply battery. But yeah, this thing is just kind of flying along. And we do, we do have a good amount of modules to test. But so far, they're all testing out pretty good. And this is going to end up being in a 15S setup. So I'm going to put three of these suckers in series. So basically a little chunk like that. That'll be three kilowatt hours worth of juice. Build that with the solar charge controller and things like that. And we have a BMS board for it. We're seeing about uh, 119 peak. And... I'll stress test this for a bit. So these are at 113 right now. So this guy's getting some 40 amp charging. The battery terminal is a 83. So breakers look good. Charger looks good. Jesus. All right, we're gonna give this uh, another whirl. I decided I'm gonna use this fluke meter that has temperature and I kind of just crammed it right there into the Anderson so I get a reading a little bit closer to where the actual crimp stuff is it's reading about 131 Fahrenheit and the outside of the housing is measuring around there you go 122 so we're gonna ramp this thing back up to 40 amps. Mind you, not much of anything is coming out of the supply batteries because it's doing a regen between channel one and two, which is this one and this one. They're both running at 20 amps. So we're gonna bump up the charging one to 40. So as that ramps up, you're going to start to see an increase of power being delivered to channel 5, or sorry, channel 1, battery number 5, and that's going to double what's coming out of this guy. So we're going to have about 
You see, about 22 amps worth of participation from this guy. 20 amps of participation from this guy. Some of that is overhead. Some of this is all overhead to run the charger as well. So, about 40 amps being delivered here. And we forgot about the temp, so here we go. That's hot. So outside of the housing is 144. Inside of the connector is 167. So, yep. I'm gonna throttle back. So we immediately start seeing a reduction in, in heat. 20 amps, 20 amps. So 130 on the connector housing, about 160 inside the inside the case. Yeah, sometimes you got to monitor your, your thermals here because there's really no weak links except for these uh, connectors are point of high resistance. Or higher than really it should be for the load, so you miss out a little bit of performance. There's some better connectors to use, like these bullets, or get some larger RC connectors, or maybe some bigger Anderson power poles like the SB50s. Those would do just fine. And the battery terminals are still sitting at 81. Leveled out at about 140 degrees inside of the connector. About peaking 130 on the uh, outside. 20 amps of charge. Test is complete and we're sitting at 62.5 amp hours. That's an excellent capacity test, 150 millivolt delta. So far, so good. These cells are looking pretty awesome. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.